KXAN's Chris Tavares is at Westlake High School where the football team is back in action after an unscheduled week off and they will take on Hayes tonight. Chris. Yeah, that's right, Robert. Westlake had to postpone last week's game against Bowie because the Shaps had some COVID issues within their program. But as you said, back in action tonight against Hayes and hoping that that unexpected time off didn't mess up any of the momentum that they've built this season on offense and defense. Of course, so much is always made of this Shaps offense and rightfully so. Through four games this year, they have yet to score less than 50 points. But equally as impressive is what they're doing on the other side of the ball. This season, they have given up a grand total of seven points and that lone touchdown came in the season opener. So that means they've posted three straight shutouts showing just how much depth this team has. Great start to the season uh, defensively. Um, you know, obviously, anytime you get a shutout, that's number one, a collective team effort. The guys that go out there with the first team defense, obviously doing their part to keep the offense out of the end zone. And then it's our twos and our threes get a chance to get in the football game. And the standard, all right, of, of great defense doesn't drop. And so I think it's, as a, as a whole defense, very rewarding when we get a shutout because we feel like everybody had a big part in that. It is Westlake and Hayes at 730. You can catch this game over on our sister station, KBVO. Of course, we'll have scores and highlights from this game and plenty of others from around the area. And Jim, I got to tell you, it is phenomenal out here. Not a cloud in the sky. I had to even leave my jacket inside my car. I don't even need it right now. You're in a tie? I've never seen you wear a tie at a football game. What's going on out there? It's, it's Westlake, man. It's a big, big game. <laughs> I, I got you. Uh, I've got the Westlake forecast for you, too. Westlake and Hayes.